Two days ago, Purdue got the win of their season in knocking off Michigan State. They led by 18 at halftime, then almost blew it, but hung on to win by 10 points. The supporting cast is really blossoming right now. Ryan Klein led the way with 17 points in that game. Nogel Eastern hit some clutch free throws. The team has really turned a corner and is now alone in third place in the Big Ten. Here's a look at Matt Painter's team as they've now won five straight games in eight of their last nine. They're assisting more in this run. Other teammates besides just Carson Edwards are scoring more. I mentioned Trevion Williams. He's really stepped up his play as his minutes have risen greatly. And sure enough, Matt Painter's good enough to join us now from our studios in West Lafayette. Uh, Matt, you guys were 6-5 and five in mid-December, and I talked with Carson about this a couple weeks ago. He says things changed when the team started buying in that it all starts on the defensive side of things. Is that the biggest right. difference in this team? Yeah, I would think um, so, but I think it starts with, you know, making better decisions, um, not turning the basketball over. Um, at times, I, I thought we just shot the ball. Um, much too quick in, you know, in non-conference, um, especially um, on the road. And our ability to take care of the basketball and our ability to have a little bit more patience, I wouldn't say we're patient at times, but just have a little bit more patience, allows us to set our defense. And then our effort on the defensive end has, has just been better. I don't think we've arrived um, by any stretch, um, but we've definitely made improvements, and, and our effort's just been better. Um, we've been a good rebounding team on the offensive, and we've struggled defensively, so that was a good sign other night when we did a better job on the defensive glass. How are teams playing Carson differently this year? Well, it's interesting. Um, I don't see a whole lot of difference. You know, we still put some some pretty skilled guys around him. You know, Ryan Klein can really shoot the basketball. Um, we got some guys that come in off the bench that can shoot the basketball. Grady Eifert um, could knock down threes. So we can really stretch the defense out. Um, obviously, he's... You know, he led us in scoring, you know, last year. He led us in scoring this year. He averaged 18 last year and 24 this year. So it's not that big of a difference. I think what's a great sign for us is that we've made improvements in other areas, and he hasn't shot a great percentage in conference play. I think that's a great sign. It just shows the, the commitment to other things, and Carson's made improvements in those other things, and our team's made improvements in those, in those areas. So, um, you know, trying to get him a little bit on track. Um, and, and shooting a higher percentage, and I definitely think that's going to happen. Well, speaking of the other guys stepping up, I am straight up fascinated by Trevion Williams. I mean, especially the last six games, he has just been a huge difference maker for your team. Initially, what made you want to start giving him more playing time? Well, it was a process for him. You know, he, you know, he kind of put himself in that hole um, coming in, you know, around 315, and he's gotten down to 275, and we've had some some pretty productive guys in non-conference. And then we really hit um, a little bit of a glitch where we weren't getting a lot of production, um, especially from a defensive standpoint and a rebounding standpoint. We just didn't get consistency. And, um, you know, he was able to, to take his opportunity. And he got some kind of mop-up minutes in a couple games and really played well. Then he played well in Notre Dame. And whenever he's gotten an opportunity, you know, he, he's done the job. And um, it really helped in the Michigan State game when we got beat. You know, he came in and got a double-double. Um, he got some tough rebounds, and he's just really built it from there. And um, a lot of times guys don't take advantage of the opportunity, but he has. You're also getting more points, more boards, more defense from No Gel Eastern, uh, especially the last handful of games. How come? Yeah. Well, I think he's been a good defender for us all year. And he's really taken on the challenge of being that stopper. Um, in the last game, he was, uh, he was special on the glass, you know, getting 11 rebounds um, from your point guard. And then he's got us into offense. He's taking care of the basketball. He's doing a better job of picking his spots offensively. And then it was huge other night when he made those free throws to kind of seal the victory. Matt, I was doing some research. You're now in your 67th year as Purdue head coach. And <laughs> the league feels like it has rarely been this hard. Uh, how is it this year playing in the Big Ten compared to other years? Um, I think it's hard every year. You know, last year, you know, we only got four teams in. I, I thought it was difficult last year. Um, obviously, we've done a much better job as a whole in non-conference. That's one area where we really didn't help um, the league, but we, I think everybody did a much better job in scheduling up. Um, we had more success, and now we've put ourselves in a better position. But um, every year, you know, the coaches are um, very good. Um, the players are tough, and you know no matter where the game's being played, you're going to have a battle. 
You know, a friend of mine who's a diehard Boiler fan told me the thing that blows him away is how tough your team is this year. He says, comparing it to last year, it just feels night and day. Do you feel an added yeah. toughness with this squad? Um, well, I thought we had a mental toughness to us last year. You know, we might not have had that physical toughness um, that, that some people look at when you walk through the airport, but I thought we had a mental toughness, especially in close games. We knocked down our free throws. We make key plays. Um, we obviously won 30 games, so we, we had a pretty successful season. But um, our, our guys have gotten much better. I think it's a, a definitely... Um, your friends kind of talking about the comparison, you know, from our first five, six, seven games to where we are now. We've definitely made strides in that area. You play uh, coming up on Thursday, then you play again on Sunday morning. That's Super Bowl Sunday morning. You watching the game at all? Right. Um, we'll see. You know, obviously we have to play well. You know, as a coach, anytime you know you get beat, you know it's tough to do you know much of anything besides kind of grind out the game in your mind. So um, hopefully we can get a win. We know it's going to be tough. Minnesota's got a great team, and we got a tough one on Thursday too. Going to Penn State's going to be a difficult game. Um, but, but anytime you go on the road and you travel, um, you know you got to get your guys in the right frame of mind. Give me the last time Matt Painter went to a Super Bowl party. Whoa. Um, that's been a while. I, I, I can't remember. Really? So before um, you were I've an watched assistant? The Super Bowl. Um, I've watched the Super Bowl with our team. Our team's come over, not every year, but our team will come over if, if it works on the date. But I can't remember the last time I went to a Super Bowl party. Well, I'm having one. You're welcome to swing on by. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, and I, I can promise you this. I will not invite Hummel. It will be a Hummel-free zone, oh, so you don't you have go. to worry about that. There you go. Hummel-free. I'm all free. That's what everyone so wants at a be party. There. He'll definitely be there. Yeah, he'll probably show up uninvited. You're right. Uh, Matt Painter, congrats <laughs> on the success you've had this year. Thanks for giving us some of your right. time. All right. Thanks. I appreciate it.